another episode of Adventure People and Places. We hop over the border to Chile so that Karin can do some more hiking. This time at Torrest of Pine National Park. Grabbing a few windless days in Chile. Let's go. Time to quickly hop over the border. Where are we going? Torrest of Pine. For Karin to go and do some hikes. So yeah, it's a check out for maybe three or four days. Hopefully the weather is on our side and Karin has good weather for hikes. But yeah, we just quickly saying ciao to um, Argentina for a few days and then we will be back. Um, small border post. Uh, it's not the most organized, so um, unfortunately there's three buses here. But they're um, coming in. Yeah, so let's hope we can go out. I think they say yeah, it's the same guy that does everything. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? I'm, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Let's hope that the wheelchair helps oh, me. Yeah. Uh, Order took yeah. quite a while, but the wheelchair did help us skip some of the queue. We then headed straight to Torres del Pine National Park. We arrived just before dark and asked permission to sleep at the gate. The tickets are valid for three days, so by sleeping at the gate we could check in early on the first uh, day. And that gave us three full ready days for my in the park. It looks like it's going to be a good day today. The, the guards were quite nice. Um, that's the entrance. We got here late last night and um, basically you could sleep here so i just have to check in make some coffee and stuff and then i'm gonna take on the taurus trek it's about 10 kilometers up and 10 down uh, now go away cloud it's a crisp morning with clear skies with a puff of wind every now and then as we quickly packed up and we are off to I'm gonna conquer the mountain this morning Plan planning is a little bit confusing here, huh Karin? What then? Planning your hikes Um, yeah, there's a drove to the parking lot where we would spend the night after Corinne's hike. I spent the day so doing maintenance on the vehicle while Corinne did the hike up to the it's towers of to Torres del Pine. Um, do you think, I hope I'm going to be lucky today. So here's the mountain and the W is on the right hand side. I'm entering the forest. There's a bit of a confusing of confusion to to, to, to get to the start of the hike, but some um, I got directed in the right direction. Yeah, let's see what the day brings. Okay, this way. Halfway up, I think we're at about four kilometers, and this is the view. There's a lake, people coming up people in front of me. Looks like we're going around between the two trees. Um, yeah, and then I'm probably going to take a stop at 
They're halfway seen there. Ugh. Ugh. Not as bad as Peru. I'm huffing and puffing. But I can still talk and walk. In the windy section. Um, done about six kilometers now, so I'm free to go. thought we would have been at the halfway stop already, but that's probably another bridge to cross. They're coming for you! I've reached base camp, four kilometers in, three, another three, four to go. Um, the wind's picked up a bit, chilly, so back with all my layers. Um, I think I've got way too much food. We'll see, but um, yeah, way too much. One thing that is nice is I bought some hot water my standard glass with um, cocoa tea so that's actually nice and refreshing mm. so uh, yeah let's, let's complete the second half of the uphill I hope it's going to stay clear there's clouds coming in so let's keep our all our fingers crossed okay so we are nearly there Oh, there's your toilets down here. And I've heard that it's open. So we have a good day. I haven't seen a umbrella. <sighs> that would be good. That would be good. That would be good. That would be good. That would be Yeah. So far, it's going to be windy at times. Some people, not a lot. Let's do the last kilometer. We are about 300 meters, half a kilometer from the top. Somebody did say that it's open. Mm. Just stopping for a quick break. All fine until I walk next to that river and got extremely thirsty. <laughs> so. To see him in the way from Argentina, um, and then I'm going to the top. It's quite a steep climb. There is somebody going up, and it's going to be like that for the rest of the time of this. So I'm just gathering my energy for the top. Yay! Woo! Boys made it! Ah, the last stretch was a bit hard, but. Um, here we are, on top of the world, and it's open. Really pretty, a lot of happy people here. And luckily the masses are not here yet. Pretty nice. On the other side, there's also some snow. Very rocky. Glacier water. Okay, so I'm on my last stretch down and I'm just gonna show you the view. There's one big blue lake and then just behind it there's another one. I don't think you can see it. Um yeah, so it has been a lot of up and down today. Um I feel it in my knee, but it was really a nice experience and a privilege. W. So as you can see, it's a tad windy here in the afternoon yeah. <laughs> and even in the evening. You can actually go for a surf here to the waves. Yeah, yeah. You can catch a surf here. Yeah. Well, that's um, just a cold. Yes. Um, even at night, um, the, the van um, rocks us to sleep with the gusts of the wind. The weather gods turned against us and it was extremely windy for the next two days. So Corinne only did one other short hike as we traversed through the park.
We exited the park on the southeastern exit, heading toward Puerto Natales and the Argentina border. Sorry, Annie. I apologize. Are you going to be a bit more careful with your battery? Yes, yes. Power time. Yeah, just to keep you some background, I flew with my drone and the battery died and it was lost over there. My wife had to go and look for it and pick up thorns and bundu bash. She was gone at least an hour and a bit. Did you at least see a... Nothing, not even an armadillo. Not a, I was hoping you would see an armadillo at least no, as a reward. It's thorns and yeah. it's, this, it's up and down. It's a really yeah. hot pleasure. But I'm grateful it's back. I hope it's working. Yeah, it's working, it's fine. How do you know? Was there was, still a light on? No, there wasn't a light on, but it fell in the bushes, so nothing broke. Oh, sorry, it didn't crash. In position, yeah, it was still in position. I took the thing. I don't think, I think it's working. Yeah, it, it just fell in the bushes. It, luckily, it wasn't in a tree. Yeah. Because I don't know what I would have done if it was up It landed by itself because it, it did an emergency landing. But it looks fine, I'll switch yeah, it on fine. now. Thanks again, sweetie. So ends our quick visit to the southern part of Chile as we hop into Puerto Natales. In search of lays. Corinne is looking for a favorite lays. Lays crisp that we don't get in Argentina. So we have to pop into the shop and then find a home for the night. We expect a very windy day tomorrow, so tomorrow we're heading into Argentina early yeah. before we aim for our final most sudden tip of Ushuaia. After spending another windy night in Puerto Natales, we headed back to Argentina. We were happy to cross back over the border when we spotted the sticker splattered signpost that welcomed us to Argentina and that is very common in Patagonia. In our next episode, we head to our southernmost point of our journey to reach a big milestone in our adventure in South America. From the southern tip of Africa to the southern tip of South America, we slowly travel down the coast of Terra del Fugo with some gringos in a convoy, camping along the coast, visiting a shipwreck, eating the best churros in the world until we arrive in Ushuaia and the post office at the end of the world where we posted some postcards for our patrons. That's a story for another time. Please head over to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels to subscribe and get these videos first and view them ad free. Or like and subscribe this video to support our channel. Thank you for watching. <laughs>